Well, hello everyone, I'm Yanni from bu for You Gaming, and today we are back in Banished. So, um, things didn't go so well, as you can see, more or less. Everything has been paused, and we are down to 15 people. We only have 12 grown-ups yet. The only places where I have someone working is in the, like the gatherer's hut. We have two people there. Then we have somewhere over here. We have a fisherman and a fisherman. And our fisherman. And then we have three hunters in here. Besides that, uh, I have one person working in each of the uh, pastures. I would prefer to have two people in each of these because they're pretty big, but that's just, we're just gonna have to do with that. And of course, I have this lower down to lower number so they would like to butcher some of them um we'll just have to see if we can get the food up a little bit we only have 300 food at the moment but i have a feeling it's already starting to go up a little bit um and then i was thinking because it is uh almost springtime well it's january we might put the last person no i think in this one um upfield because it's right next next to the barn and hope that we will get some food from that um, but yeah this is gonna be a little bit tricky oh we got a new child but i am kind of hoping that things will oh stabilize so we can rebuild fortunately enough we have 93 codes and 98 tools, so that should keep us going for a while. We actually also have some ores. We do have stone and brick and clay and all that stuff. Uh, we have 1,000 logs, so the, and we have 1,000 firewood actually. So the one main concern at the moment is definitely um, food. <laughs> Okay, much. So let's uh, pause for a second. Let's just get you working. Yeah, squash is probably fine. And let's just have one person in there. What do we have? Squash, pumpkin, wheat, barley, bean. I don't really beans. I usually harvest it pretty early, so might be a good idea to do that. Okay. Good. Hopefully have. But everything else should be... Oh, you jumped in there. Well, I would prefer that you were in this one. Did I? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, I probably haven't paused these. I would prefer that you work in this one because it's closer to the barn. Um, but I, and I hope that it will be someone living close to you. So that was a herdsman. No one's living there. And we have a child living alone. Okay, baby was living alone. Yeah, we probably have empty houses at the moment, so that is not so good. Ah, well, at least you are planting some stuff. Uh, farmer, oh, that's good. You moved in there. Uh, where's everybody else living now? It's a nomad. Mm. Are you gonna take them or are we not gonna? We could because it's like spring, so. Uh, we should have enough food production going as long as people don't starve uh, to actually feed all these people with the fishermen and hunters and a gatherer and this. And we could. Kind of start this up and go for the squash. Uh, if we accept these, still may so they might have a chance at. Um, uh, let's chance it. Okay, we're gonna do that. And oops, come on. People in here. Oh, not working. <laughs> okay. Well, we have two people working here. Well, I just want one person working there because this has already been badly planted. 
two people. Well, they have started planning, so or doing something at least. Yeah, May, May, May. I don't know how early. I know it starts in April or something. It might be too late. Let's see, they're doing something, but. Hmm. Yeah, something is growing. Then let's just keep two people on that, okay? 10% yield, 22% yield. Hopefully, we we'll get something. We're up to 500 food. Ooh, okay. And still no one grew, grew, grown up. Okay, so you are female. No one living there. But a woman living there. Guy living there. Okay, there's a couple there. I'm just checking that we can actually make. Oh, we got a laborer. That we can actually make some food, or make some not some food. Make make uh, make babies. Make babies. But we have both ma men and women, so that should be good. Um, yeah, we just have way too many houses at the moment. I really have to focus on. Uh, Food, uh, because we're gonna have a baby boom at some point. It's always a problem. Well, I could do, um, but I don't think I can pause it. Can I pause it if I do that? Uh, there's no one living in here, right? So if I do this, no, I can't pause it. I don't. Have, well, I have a laborer, but I don't really have any. People to tear it down or anything, but I just have to hope that it's gonna work. Hey, okay. they're doing good. It's September. Uh, let's um, raise this one to two, put you down to one. If they can get some of this before it dies, or if it had already started. Mm. Come on, can you save a little bit more? Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Yes. Nice. A 300 squash and 400 beans. Well, that's good. Almost 500. Nice. So for now, let's uh, bring this down to zero. So let's just slow this down a little bit. So now we have four people who's not doing anything. What do we need to get done? Um, but we still need food, but we have um, we have two thousand food, so almost two thousand. We have almost enough for one full year of food. Um, we could put someone in the herbalist for a bit, but it's not really gonna help, and it doesn't really matter. It doesn't seem like they can die; they'll just have really low health. But I don't really know how that impacts anything. Um. Might be a good idea to make some tools, kind of, during winter. We have all the stuff that we need. Iron, charcoal and logs. Um, see, inventory and bloom. We have 39, that's not gonna bring us far. Was it iron or iron? It was iron. Okay. So we do have iron ore. Oh, can you make anything with that? No, it's not as good, but no, we need iron. Okay, no. Uh, charcoal and logs, so 200 charcoal and we do have the logs. Okay, firewood is going down a little bit though. That's good. Well, you're gonna be making tools and then we're gonna need someone here to make some um, um, iron. Red and blue too, right? Yeah, we have 200 of that. Okay, so they will make some tools for us. Um, yeah. And then I hope... Well, we have to be liberal. We need some people here in the springtime, so I'm kind of hoping that someone is gonna grow up soon. Um, we do have quite a lot of logs over here. Must be where most of our logs are. Um, 
thinking we have to go straight out quite a lot. Um, it might be a good idea to put someone in here for a bit. So our vendor can kind of bring things around. And um, I don't know if it's even worth it to put anyone anywhere. Yeah. 2000 food. Um, you do well. I want more babies before I do anything, otherwise, we're probably going to put in another fisherman or something. Might be a good idea. Um, would actually be a good spot, I think. Mm. Mm. Well, that would be. If we can place it right there. That would probably be a really good spot, actually. Um. Let's see. Put it. Like this. Ah, that would be really nice. Yep. Have to see the circle, but yeah. Cool. No way I can. No. Have to go there. But still. Uh, there's gonna be another fishing spot. That's for sure. Be down here. Uh, January. Okay, we are making some tunes. What's our limit at? And I put it up last time. I don't remember. Let's just bring it up a little bit. The clothes we did put up because uh, we were selling them, right? Um, did I get all this? Hmm. But I emptied it all out. It really seemed like it. Yeah. I have zero naughty coach. Oh, okay, I did empty it out. It's just the money. That is fine. Uh, February, it's almost springtime. Mm, 1500 food. Yeah, we do need to add more food production. We can't even keep up with it. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Is there anything else I ought to do? Oh yeah, that was another thing. Actually, I'm not sure these even this will actually give us anything because it's a cold climate. So I don't know if peaches or well, they do grow here, but I don't know if they're gonna give us any um, fruit at all. We haven't gotten any yet. The only seeds we have. I just remember I saw someone in the forums asking because apparently, but I can't remember if that per person said that the trees didn't grow at all or if they um, just didn't, didn't give any fruit. I know we don't have anyone working here at the moment, but. Um, so, and then the mod author, Tom Sawyer, said that. Um, do they start working this early? Just someone to work. Yes, you can just work. Uh, that's fine. Let's see if they'll start doing anything. Um, I do believe they start in March, though. But yeah, he said that uh, what whichever uh, plants that that person had chosen or trees were some that do doesn't grow in a cold climate. Um, and I can't remember, I think one of them was pecan, maybe? Something like that. Okay, it's April. So, we are gonna stop working. All these people out, you are gonna stop working. So, this one, start working. Yeah, okay, then we have three people. So, if I see two people here. Where did I put the last person? Do one, two. We have 
No, we don't. We only have three people, right? Yeah. No oh, man. Let's just get them working on this, and hopefully we're gonna get a baby. Please, 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 give us a baby. A okay, seventeen hundred fold. We are holding in there, but we have twenty-two people, so we need like twenty-two hundred just for one year. Um, and I do prefer having the food going up, up most of the time. Um, are you working there? Why is no one working? Oh, you are working there, okay. Oh yeah, they were just so small that you don't see them at first. It's that growing. But that's what I mean, I do seem to recall that beans seem to grow faster in this. Hmm. It also seems like they live way over there, that's cool. Yeah, now no one is living there. <laughs> oh, and we have a farmer living over here instead instead of here with the herdsman. That's always kind of a bit confusing. Okay, we had three new babies getting born. Which me means we continuously need more food, uh, but we don't have any more workers yet, so that's kind of tricky. Ah, uh, come on guys, you can do it. You can do it. I don't like the food is dropping. Uh, but hopefully you will get a good harvest so we can make it through the winter and then hopefully we'll get more p people. Um, and first priority would get this fisherman going. Um, actually I would like two more people but during winter they can do something else. Because I do want to build something out here. Um, we run a road and we do want... well there is a storage barn there so we could Focus on a house. Um, though I would prefer not building new houses now, but we're not gonna get a lot if this person has to travel too far all the time. Okay, let's see. August. We start harvesting soon. But of course, it is a colder climate, so they will probably also start harvesting later in the season than. Uh, Another maps maybe. Mm. Okay, there we go. You are at it. The beans are ready. Okay, but not getting as much from it as I would like, but they're probably not also not living quite as practically as I would like. Ah, okay. Oh, once we've gotten this harvest in, then maybe we should try and let someone fish. Even though it's winter time, they should be able to get fish. It seems like we're getting less than they did last time. Look at that. It's all dying now. Come oh, on, you can get a little bit more of it. Yeah, that's good. Good job. A good thing would have having the barn right next to it. Okay, they survived more than this did. Okay, so that is it. Um, stop working and stop working, and that means we don't need any farmers, right? I'm over here. Okay, then, shaman, where did I put it? Right here. Oh, we need to build it. That's right, I didn't do that. Um, means we're gonna need a builder. And in the meantime, Maybe we'll let you make some coats or something. And one person there. Just to keep that going. Come on, you can finish this. Go, 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 go. You can see we still only have. And now we have 2500 food at least. That's one year worth of food, so we should survive another year. Just hoping more people are gonna grow up. Come on, what are you guys doing? You're gonna come and finish this off. We do have a builder. Well, let's make both of you into builders then. 
really have anything else to do. There we go, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Nice. Okay. Why are you suddenly... Oh, crap. Uh -huh. It's too far out so we can't get off. Um... Alright, oh, we can't do that here. <laughs> oh, I'm so used to having um, a, a um, what's it called? Like the drug set that you have in uh, Colonial Shadow. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to tear it down then. That's kind of unfortunate, but uh, okay. You can tear down while you're standing on it. Hey, okay, let's see if we can do this better then. Um, Fishing pier. Uh, it's right there. About. I go to there. But then that's exactly where it was, isn't it? But I couldn't go further. Okay, that is red now. So where did I put it before? Uh, that looks fine right there, doesn't it? Try again. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, micromanaging. Okay, 2700 food. Now that's a positive sign. Like we're building up a little bit of food. Okay, coats. Yep, they are also going up. That's good. Ooh, okay. But this is so typical me, I always end up starving my populations. <laughs> uh, I think the next series I do, finished, I really need to uh, just focus on, you know, the essentials and try to not get distracted by all the shiny things. Like all the, like this is a new mod for me, so I get easily distracted by oh there's all these nice buildings and stuff and when I play Colonial Chada or the Mega Mod there's like a ton of decorations and you have like a lot of different variants like there's not just one tailor there's like different um, that, that's a oh, school different tailors and like the blacksmith and so on there are different ones you can choose between um, and I let that distract me. Oh, it's April. Okay, well, we're gonna put... Okay, one. Oh. There we go. Okay, but two. And Taylor. No, put three. Okay. Yeah, we got an mention. Not interested right now. <sighs> we do want nomads. Well, we do have 2900 food, so. Oh, we could use them. Okay, take them in. Let's get. The fourth farmer, so hopefully we'll get more of this going. And uh, then the last one can work on this. So hopefully we can get this built. To get some extra food in during winter too. 2400 food. And... 2500, okay. We should have enough food for a year for everyone. Is anyone gonna come and work on this? Not you? No. That was probably a kit. Another kit. What's my laborer doing? Okay, if I put you as a builder, you're gonna go and put some stuff here. Mm. Oh, we just need it to be built. Okay, yeah, that makes sense then. <laughs> okay, so let's take you of building and we're gonna add a third fisherman. 
That should not cause any issues. Yep. Okay, cool. And eventually, we get some more people. Might have a road right there. And we would probably like to have some kind of storage. Uh, do we have anything? Yeah, I've just been playing through the Banished Challenge. I don't know if you guys have... Well, if you watch my series, you will have heard me talking about it. Um, and it's currently active. We started um, publishing the videos um, almost a week ago. So, or when, when this comes out, it's almost a week ago. Um, so uh, right now I have all the colonial chatter things in my head, but we don't really have like a meat storage or anything here. No, we just have normal storages. What if I give you like a small storage so we don't have to run so far? Does it say how much we can? A six hundred. That's not a lot. Two thousand. I just wanted something. More. I still have to go over there, I wondered. Hmm. Okay, so I have to go. No, I don't like it. Uh, well, let's just give you a little small stretch yet. Whenever we get someone who can actually build this. And um, then we'll kind of like a little house for you two at some point. The wooden hard are kept in. Hmm, how many roof tiles and stuff do we have now? Hmm, okay, 3200 for that is good. Let's see. Uh, roof tiles. We have 400, and what is the other one? Brick? It's 7. Do we need for a house? Well, we could build an is ah. Huh? Do we need for the red ones? And 16. Okay, so we can have one of these. Uh, can it fit on this side? No. Okay. But can't go right next to it, but it could go right there. Mm, really like that one with the green door. Okay, so alright, when I don't have anything to do, I'll bring stuff over here, so that's, that's cool. We got another merchant, we have more children being born. Mm. And wow, why is all this fish just sitting here? Okay. Oh, we've got a laborer. Cool. I want to go up, so let's just um, pause this for now. But I do want to build this. Hmm. But we have so many houses, I don't really want to. Uh, let's see, yeah, 13. F <laughs> 16 homes and 13 families. For a second, I just saw this 27. Okay, 16 homes and 13 families, so we have a little too many houses. And uh, we need some more people to grow up. Ah, oh, nice. Got that done. So we can have a little bit in there, you finish the road. Okay, guess we'll just let you go back to being a laborer. And... Oh, it's much. Uh, so you're actually gonna have to work here very soon. Mm hmm. What did I do with all my extra people? I already forgot. Wow, what's up with my uh, memory? What did we do with the three people that were. Did I leave them in here? Almost. No? Or did I? I did, it looks like. Okay, so they're the ones that were kind of doing all this stuff. Okay, well they should just start working here then. Hmm. They'll just work as laborers in the off-season. 
but that should be fine. So we have squash and we have beans and we still have one labor. That is pretty cool. Very nice. Ah, so I don't have to sit and necessarily sit and micromanage that. Um, what is the next thing I want to do? We have 3500 food and 28 people. Okay, let's bring you up, see if that's gonna be okay. Won't get any meat from it though, but that's not, not much. Look at how little we get. Um, Mm. Well, it's because it's early, but we get 300 from that one. We only got 100 something. Guess you live further away for some reason instead of living there. I don't know, sometimes they just won't move where it makes a bit more sense. I like this, that big of a difference. You only have to walk over there instead of here, but okay. Fair enough. Okay, we have more. Well, that shouldn't matter. Well, okay, maybe it does. We have more sheep so they will probably have more babies and we'll have more butchering going on and over here when we only have 13. Now we have 14. Hey, build up that population again. How are we doing with the chickens? 15 of 15. We are getting eggs and chickens. Uh, chicken meat. Nice. Okay. Fishing, fishing, fishing. Okay, you have just 288. You'll have to travel pretty far to get home, so... 600 and something. Almost 700. And 700. Okay. That is definitely not bad. And once you get a house here, uh, it should be good. Mm, should we just build it? I know it's going to be a little bit of an issue. Um, all these extra houses and people living alone, but at the same time, I really don't want my fishermen to have to go. Well, where do you live? Uh, there we go. All the way over there, every time. Uh, that is a little much, isn't it? So let's uh, turn you into a builder. Let you finish this little red cottage. See, we have a lot of babies being born, and that's my only worry. So I'm not planning on adding any more houses than this. Okay, we're getting a lot of harvest in, and again, a lot of it died. It's winter. Kind of amazing. We have two people working there, and still they can't manage to finish it before winter time. Your builder, you're living there. Um, you're living there. But of course, they're not really living where they should be living. So, okay, there's another farmer and a fisherman. Uh, too many houses. I think the problem is if you have too many houses, they'll prioritize taking up all the houses instead of like moving in together here because we have a lot of people living alone. Okay, so. Is the fisherman gonna move into this little house, please? That would be really nice if you would do that, please. Pretty, please. Pretty, please. That's kind of why I built it, so you could live close to work. There we go. Thank you, Flamingo. Nice. Okay. Now you can live there. Got a farmer. We don't have anyone. That's man, that's man and farmer, and a farmer. So the last farmer could just as well live there. But of course, they have to be obnoxious and not do that. Okay, well, uh, we have 5,500 for food now. So we have enough for two years. That is good, that's a positive thing. So I think the thing now is just to, uh, did I have it running in 10? Yeah. I think the thing now is to just, um, yeah, just <laughs> uh, kind of build up the population, but I should get like several people at once now and then uh, growing up because we get a lot of babies. Um, so I can slowly start focusing on tools and clothes and all that again. Oh, did I leave someone in here? Actually, I did. 
Okay, fine. That person will be bringing around food and all that stuff, so that's good. Um, but yeah, it's gonna take gonna take a little to get all this sorted. But I also really want to get this going because we do want to have plenty of food. Now it's not much yet. Uh, yeah. And I really want to get someone working in the field so we can get more trading going. How much wool do we have now? Ooh, almost 500. So that should make for a good amount of Nordic coats that we can sell. Hopefully we can get more seeds. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we're going to have to put someone in there and see. Uh, but yeah, that will have to be it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, you should definitely check, it, check out the uh, Banish Challenge videos and uh, all the other participants' videos. Uh, we had like 14 people or something, 13, 14, around that number that are doing the Spanish challenge so there's a lot of videos and it's quite a lot of fun to see how people are, are faring in it um, some better than others <laughs> but it also makes for a good laugh so uh, but yeah do take care everyone and uh, happy gaming <laughs>